How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student. And today we are going to be going through my first 48 hours on the COVID-19 third booster shot. I specifically got the Pfizer third dose because my first two shots were Pfizer, but I'm assuming Moderna will have similar symptoms as well to this. I got my booster shot because one, I have an autoimmune condition. But two, I'm also a healthcare worker working in a high risk setting. And as certain parts of the country and certain pharmacies, you can now get the third booster shot if you work or live in high risk settings of transmission of COVID-19. So I was able to schedule it on the CVS website uh, two days before I actually got my shot. So it's looking like not a lot of people are signing up for it in my current city and state atlanta georgia but we know georgia is notorious for its covid uh covid precautions and uh vaccination rates we are one of the worst in the country so that may be because of where i'm currently in and then the political situation i'm in but um i was able to schedule my vaccine pretty conveniently according to my own you know free time and I scheduled it for October 1st. And uh, this is uh, this is the video I made in the morning before I headed to uh, get my shot. Hey, hello, hi everyone. So today is Friday, October 1st. Rent is due, which I have to pay after I get home. But besides that, today is Friday, October 1st. I am getting my COVID-19 booster shot. I got the Pfizer first two doses about six months ago. So now it's time that I get the booster. So I'll be documenting that. I'm just gonna go travel like five minutes down the street to a local Target where there's a CVS. I made an appointment. It was really easy to make an appointment, honestly. Like I got exactly the time that I wanted and there was plenty of other available times and I scheduled it like two days ago. So it looks like not a lot of people are scheduling the booster shots right now, but I'm gonna go get it and I'll keep y'all updated throughout the next 48 hours on how I'm feeling. Hey y'all, it is around 4.50 since I've been at my appointment at four o'clock. <laughs> Funny story, a bunch of stuff happened before I could even get my shot. I drove all the way to Target. Mind you, it's only like a five, 10 minute drive because I live so close to it. But then I realized, oh, I left my vaccination card at home and I need that to document that I got the booster especially because, you know, I have to document it with my medical school rotations and stuff. So to drive all the way back home, go upstairs, grab my vaccination card, and then drive back here. So it made me like 10 minutes late to the appointment, but luckily the CVS doesn't really care whether or not I'm late. I don't think they even knew that I was coming, but they asked me to go sit down at the chair and like, I was sitting down and I was waiting for the person to come and inject me, but it's been 30 minutes. Like I was just on my phone and 30 minutes has passed. So this is when I start getting frustrated. So then I go up there and I'm like, yo, like, am I gonna get my shot or not? And then it turns out that the batch that they had expired. So then they had to thaw out another batch. So that's why I had to wait 30 minutes. I was like, I wasn't like being rude or anything. I was just like trying to be understanding, but also, like I was just like <sighs> what a day <laughs> for me but the workers were really nice they administered the shot it didn't hurt at all it just felt like a pinch and they asked me the same thing that they ask whenever I get every single COVID shot is they asked me to wait around 15 minutes to make sure I don't have any allergic reaction and then they asked me to go so I did wait the 15 minutes and then I'm in my car now I got a little candy because I got, got a little bit of munchies but now I'm just gonna go home and observe for the next 48 hours on how I'm feeling. So after that big debacle of, you know, forgetting so much stuff, being late, and then realizing that they're late on me, um, I went home and I was ready to relax. I was feeling good. I took a picture for the gram to encourage more people to go get uh, the vaccine in uh, freaking Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> because nobody's apparently getting it. And, um, I was playing my ukulele, I was having a pretty good time, and here are the updates for the rest of the day. Hey y'all, 
well, so it's around 7.30 and I am practicing my ukulele. I'm still pretty much a beginner, but update on symptoms of, you know, the, uh, the vaccine. I was able to come home. I was kind of tired, so I rested, but I don't think it was because of the vaccine, just because I was running around everywhere today. And then I cooked dinner. While near the end of cooking dinner, I noticed a little bit of a headache, but I didn't know if it was actually the vaccine or not because it's just way too soon to tell. I was also pretty dehydrated to throughout the day, so I don't know if it was that either. It's still very, very, very slight in like my the temporal region of my head, but honestly, it's like a 1 out of 10. I barely even feel it. So I've been practicing the ukulele. I'm planning on practicing it for an hour and I'll keep you updated uh, before I go to bed tonight. Hey y'all, so um, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm starting to get really sleepy, but I noticed in the last two-ish hours that I've been getting like really tired, like more tired than I usually am. Also my arm is starting to hurt. Yep, there it goes. Here it is, <laughs> just like the first two shot. So it's like at a two out of 10 right now, but I'm thinking it's gonna get worse tomorrow when I wake up. I'm actually dreading it, like dreading waking up tomorrow morning, but I'm hoping it's similar to my second shot where I had no other symptoms other than this, other than this arm pain. But I do feel quite a bit of fatigue right now. And it's not just because it's late. I usually have a lot of energy until I'm ready for bed. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow and see where this goes. I don't have the headache, by the way. Headache's gone. So, I don't think it was related to the vaccine. More likely because I was dehydrated. Okay, bye. Boy, did I not expect what I actually went through throughout the night. I mean, this is, this is my update the morning after. Hey everyone, it's 9.43 the following day. And I'll have to say that this is the worst reaction I've had out of all the three shots I've done with the Pfizer vaccine, I mean, overnight, I felt so bad. I was spiking a fever. I was hot. I was super, super thirsty, even though I was drinking water. I felt like poo, and I was just had, like, all over body aches. And when I woke up this morning, I, when I got up, I, like, I felt like this rush of nausea. So I had to, like, be careful what I ate. I took two ibuprofen this morning just to help me with some of the symptoms, but I am very dizzy, very tired, I'm very weak. I don't feel like I have no strength in my arms. And it, and it's worse because two days ago I went to the gym and I had a really, really intense workout. So I was already sore, but this just kind of heightened all the soreness. So my ribs hurt, my shoulders hurt. And also the injection site hurts a lot. I can barely lift out. <laughs> I can barely lift my arm up. So yeah, it's it's rough. So yeah, you can tell that I did not really have a good night at all. Like I at, that was the worst night I've ever had on any of the COVID vaccines. I was spiking a fever throughout the night. I was incredibly hot. I was sweating. I felt nauseous. I had had to keep get getting up from bed because of how bad I felt. Like internally, I just felt like poop. And that was not great. I wish I was proactive like I was with my previous shots where I took Tylenol or Ibuprofen um, just to make sure the symptoms would go down. But because I was so overconfident that, I would be, that this shot wouldn't be as bad as the first two, I didn't take it. And I wish I did because I think I would have felt a lot better throughout the night and in the morning because when I realized I felt like poop, in the morning after breakfast, I ate two ibuprofens and my next update, I was doing pretty good. Hey y'all, it's officially been 24 hours since I got my third COVID booster shot. I got Pfizer and honestly, I am doing a lot better than this morning. Still have a lot of fatigue, a little bit of brain fog. And I was doing like test questions earlier and I realized that I was getting more wrong than I usually do. And I think it's because of the brain fog. And arm pain is getting better, but still pretty bad. So I'm gonna skip out on the gym today. But I'm doing a lot better. And also, um, this morning when I did that update, I took some ibuprofen and that actually alleviated almost all the symptoms. So I've been taking that every like four to six hours. So 
It seems like I'm through the worst of it. So I'll update you one last time tonight and in the morning and we'll see. Hey y'all, I totally forgot to record last night before I went to bed, but this morning I'm feeling a lot better. Still, there's a, couple, a little bit of fatigue, a little bit, but I am doing a, a lot better. I feel almost completely normal, just, just a little bit of fatigue. So tomorrow I'll probably go completely back to normal. However, last night, I decided, hey, I'm feeling better. Why not I just go to Marshalls and do some shopping, which was a terrible idea because as soon as I stepped out into Marshalls and grocery shopping, I immediately felt terrible. I got lightheaded. I felt like I was going to pass out. I felt nauseous. I, I also felt like I was like traveling through mud, like I was caked in like a river of mud and I was traveling through it. So my movements were slow. I I also ran out of food and I was like, oh my God, I have to get home. <laughs> so like I actually got back in my car soon after leaving my car to go to Marshall's and drove back home because I was really afraid that I was going to pass out in the middle of the street. But after I got home and sat down and like started relaxing, I felt better again. So I, it just it just seemed like maybe yesterday I shouldn't have tried to overexert myself physically. But this morning I'm feeling great and we're gonna hit about 20, 48 hours since my shot soon. So please heed my advice. Definitely for the first 24 to 36 hours, always have food on hand before you get the shot. Make sure you do all your shopping because even though you feel good, when I was walking outside, I did not feel great at all. I, I was actually very, very scared that I wasn't going to be able to drive home because I felt just so, like, out of body and, like, nauseous that I felt like, and lightheaded. Lightheaded was actually the most feeling I was getting. I didn't want to collapse on the street and end up at the hospital. So definitely, definitely make sure the first day and a half you have all your necessities so you don't have to get out. And finally, we have hit the 48 hour mark in my third booster shot vlog. And I'm feeling great, everyone. I'm actually feeling super good. So uh, I will say out of all the three shots of the Pfizer that I've gotten, third shot was my worst one as far as feeling like absolute poopy. But other than that, it only lasted about a day, a day and a half. And now I'm back to normal. So please get that booster shot. Anyone who's a, you know, healthy adult should still get the booster shot six to eight months after their second shot. So definitely think about it. Those are the CDC and researcher recommendations. So um, get that shot and be healthy and stay safe. I've seen way too many people on a ventilator in the last two months. So I love you. Later. So that's pretty much it for my first 48 hours after the third booster COVID shot. I specifically got the Pfizer vaccine, but uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad experience. Just, just get it done on a Friday or a day that you feel like you're going to have at least a day and a half off so you can get through the worst of the symptoms. And uh, remember to take, you know, ibuprofen or acetaminophen if you're getting really bad symptoms like a fever to help you cope with those symptoms. I hope this video was encouraging for you to get the booster shot. I, I promise it wasn't as bad as it is. I mean, as, as, as poopy as I felt, and I use the word poopy like both jokingly, but I actually did feel so bad. <laughs> as poop, as bad as I felt, it still is so much better than, you know, being at the hospital because I got COVID on a ventilator, watching my loved ones watch me deteriorate, or even watching someone else that you love deteriorate because they got COVID. This is a very serious situation and a lot of people are not taking seriously and that's why I'm making this video. I really wanna encourage people just to see firsthand what it's like to take the vaccines. It's not a big deal. I've been doing great. I haven't had any major side effects or symptoms since I got my first and second dose and I'll still be making YouTube videos after my third dose. So I'll be completely fine and we have to keep ourselves safe and keep others safe during the worst pandemic of the century. 
I love you all. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something. Please share it with someone that you know that may benefit from this information. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and the activism work that I do on the side. And, and I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.